Hello, Pastor. I'm Deacon Frank. His name is Frank Williamson, for Christ's sake. Thank you. Enough talking, Frank, or we'll be here till nightfall. Come on, Pastor. Let me show you your new sanctuary. We don't spend too, 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 too much money in this church to let some j -j -j jockeys mess it up. What kind of church would we be to accept a murderer for a pastor? What, what you talking about, the Doris? I'm sure he's burning to tell you all about his little incident. The Deacon Frank is a registered sex offender. <gasps> all of y'all got the nerve. No, 34 people walk past that. She ain't got nothing left. Just a banner with empty promises. All the real patriots are gone. Prove me wrong. Yes, please. Coffee for everyone. And we're hungry, too. What's your special today, hon? Well, our special every day is the Big Red. Three eggs, three slices of bacon, two sausage links, home fries, grits, piece of ham, toast, mm. orange juice, coffee or tea. If you want milk, it's extra. Mm. How much? $2.99. Well, then, I guess we'll have the special. All right. Three specials coming right up. Three heart attacks, Charlie. That shit holds us for a few hours. Thanks, Sammy. You mind if I call you Sammy? You look like Sammy Davis Jr. Well, my real name is Frank. But go ahead, son. You can call me Sammy if you like. I've been called worse. So, uh, Sammy, what do you think of the war? You said you were in the Army, right? Vietnam? Why are we there? To kill commies? Have y'all met a commie? I don't think I have. Are they like Protestants? Oh my, no. I've never met one. How can you even tell? Well, boys, I was in the big war, World War II. That was a reason to have a, a war. The Japs just bombed us. Hitler was coming after us after he finished beating up on Europe. But this Vietnam thing, it's all wrong. I got a bad feeling about it. That looks like the super. We should go talk to him. What the show? NYPD. 
Sir, do you have a minute? How can I help you, officers? We made contact with the super, and we showed him the picture of Goran. Have you seen this guy? Yeah. He stays up there with Miss Glassman. Audrey Glassman. That's right. She just left. What about him? Is he in there? I don't think so. He walks his dog every morning on the boardwalk. Tell you the truth, I won't mess with him. Bite your head off. Good night. Excuse me, sir. You've seen this gentleman before? He told us that he remembers that morning the guy getting on the bus. Yeah, I know this guy. The lady that was killed, they rode together on the day she died. He knew that they were on the bus together and that he got off at uh, Broad Market the same time that Trish got off. And I think he thought, like, what are the coincidences that he gets off the bus at the same time? Anything you could tell us about him? To be honest, I was a little scared of the guy. He used to use his old septic ID tag to get on for free. I would let him on, because he was a loose cannon. The bus driver, knowing about his reputation for his anger and everything else, he just like, OK, you can come on the bus. Did Trish McDermott know him? I have no idea. But I tell you this, he drove the 33 bus at times. He drove the bus that Trish took to work, you sure? Yeah. You got a name? Of course I got a name. Juan Covington. My partner and I looked at each other, and our total focus became Juan Covington. Time. Yeah, yeah, you say that to all your patients. Not true. <laughs> Only ones that want to hear it. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Mm. Is it gluten-free? You are so funny. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. Hey, have a good time in Tanzania. I'll send you a postcard. <laughs>